Hi everybody, welcome to a new series of tutorials on mood units. As I normally do, I start looking at the interface on the first video and that is what we are going to uh, start today. Um, before I go into that, I'm going to give away also some codes for a mood unit. So as always, if you are interested, just uh, drop, a, uh, drop me a line to soundformore at gmail.com and um, and I will let you know in a couple of days who actually won the competition. Um, if you win a code, please also it would be good if you leave a message uh, um, on the YouTube uh, channel that helps uh, growing the channel itself. Okay, so let's start. So we are in AUM, so let's click on the plus sign and let's open up an audio uh, channel and uh, let's search for uh, um, a U space uh, mood unit. Here we go, and here we have mood unit. And let's open it. So the first thing to say is that um, it's uh, very low on CPU uh, usage, which uh, makes it a absolutely great addition to your collection of synth. Because of course, if you are someone like myself using AUM a lot. Having a audio unit uh, uh, synth that is very low on CPU usage is great news. So let's connect the keyboard and let's give you an idea of the sound, first of all, which you selected here from the left hand side. Um, let's go for a dual so as well. As you can see, the percentage of uh, DSP utilized is really, really low. The other thing to, to say is that the, um, the instrument which come uh, with uh, and the app uh, contains also effects in the way they have been sampled. So for example, uh, let's choose these uh, granules 01. So you can hear in this example that there is a reverb and delay which has already been applied and that is a way to keep of course the CPU utilization down. Um, so for example, um, let's choose unstable shimmer. Okay, so this gives you an idea of some, uh, some of the preset, of course some bass. some strings. In terms of interface it is very, very straightforward that you can see uh, is shown here. And then of course you can also scroll up and down to reveal other part of the, of the UI. Of course you can maximize it as always for any application inside AUM. Uh, the other thing to, to notice is that um, Let's get rid of the keyboard for, for now. It has a, a clever way of adjusting what it shows depending on the size of the window. So let me show you. So, and of course you need to scroll where possible. And here you have to select different category to show on the right hand side. For example, the setting for the amplitude envelope on the filter, filter etc. But again, if you close it even further, it almost looks like a mobile phone view. So it's very adaptable. And of course, when you are in this type of view, you have to select the preset from the preset menu inside AUM. Okay. So, and of course, if you maximize it, again, it uses um, uh, all the real estate that you have uh, available on your screen. Okay. The other thing which is really interesting is that uh, when you get mood units, you also have some effects. So this is the main app, but if you go under effects and now you search for a new space, you have a number of effect, a reverb, like so, just again to show you to you. Very straightforward. You have um, uh, other effects like um, a limiter, a delay, a filter, 
distortion and an equalizer and again i'm just loading some up so that you can have an idea what uh, they look like so for example let's go on the filter and again if i bring up the keyboard uh, inside the um and i try So as you can see, the utilization from uh, inside the UM is still very, very low, which as I said at the beginning of the video, it makes it an ideal candidate if you want to, uh, to have a synth uh, where you, when you lay multiple instances. So it's really, really a cool app. So you can have synth with different uh, um, instruments and you can also have uh, um, different effects as well that you can use at the same time okay so this was just an introduction i will create in the near future also another video where i will go into the details of all the different options so for now i hope you enjoyed and see you next time i hope you win a code good luck bye